With Flight Sim Expo coming to a close for 2021, it's time to see what awesome releases and previews we got. Up the top there would be the Honeycomb Aeronautical Tango Foxtrot Hotel setup, which was previewed by the Honeycomb team at FS Expo in San Diego. This video is dedicated to that taking a look at this frankly awesome product. All the photos today are sourced off fselite.net. There is a link in the description. Please go check it out to read the article in full. But now, let's get right into it. Hello YouTube, I'm Pilot Stud, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm taking a look at some more Microsoft Flight Simulator hardware, taking a look at this awesome product. Without further delay, let's get right into it. So here we are on the FS Elite website, full shout out to the team there, they're the ones that have gone out into the field and got these photos and videos, I do recommend you look out on their website. So starting with this nice consolidated photo, you can see the throttle quadrant on the left, the stick of the flight column in the middle, and the speed brake which is on the left of the throttle quadrant to the right. Now Honeycomb do not offer any price tag and I should say that this is an early model. It might not be like what the uh, proper release looks like but I think it's pretty close. And just look on the detail on these bad boys. Literally probably one of Honeycomb's um, most featureful integrated setup yet. And if they can squeeze this to around the £300 mark, it would be an instant buy. Notice on the throttle quadrant above that photo, you've got um, changeable modular kind of modules. That's something really impressive, being able to swap from a certain amount of uh, flap degrees, as you can see there, which suit the Airbus, to a different gear lever. I'm not too sure how it will work, but if they manage to pull this off, it would be very impressive. The stick looks like it's made out of good quality material, I know I've been using Honeycomb for a while and I'm continuously impressed, very good quality materials, I highly recommend it. I think rudder trim and being able to set uh, your landing brakes is something really impressive. That it's clear that they're targeting every single aircraft and trying to provide one integrated solution. I think that's really awesome. Here we've got a photo of the throttle quadrant from the side and you can see once again the detents, that's the word I'm looking for, uh, for the flap lever. Really well done, parking brake down the bottom right corner of this bit of kit here with the engine fire switches and APU fire switches at the top. Something we haven't seen on any product just yet, so that's definitely a first. Here we can see our nice model by the looks of it on the thing, his name is Nicholas, uh, taking a look and seeing how your hand wraps around the stick. This seems to be pretty comfortable, pretty kind of normal in terms of um, industry hotels products, similar to the Frostmaster one, although higher quality material. Down the bottom there you've of course got your USB-C, your hub and your PC and Xbox switch. That's why right, it will work with PC and Xbox, which I think is really impressive. Of course it's a complete game changer for Xbox, with nothing like this on the market. Nothing to this degree of accuracy and realism. Here's a photo of the uh, stick setup from the front. You can see all those lights we've got there, and of course they will be fully integrated um, with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Notice the Xbox buttons up the top. Of course, we've got the main Xbox button top left corner, and then we've got the options and share features in the top right corner. Very impressive stuff. Notice we've got an APU on switch there by the looks of it, and that's also a part you can swap out by the sounds of things. So if you're not into that aircraft, or if there's an aircraft um, kind of setup that's more applicable to you, I think you'll be able to change into it, which is very impressive. Here's a look at the throttle quadrant from the back in terms of being closer to the uh, passenger section of the aircraft. You can see auto throttle disconnect on the side of the uh, throttle levers, pretty awesome stuff. Once again, we haven't seen that with the exception of the Bravo throttle quadrant, I believe. Here's a look at the setup from above, and you can see there's two trays, meaning you'll be able to put either your stick and throttle right next to each other, or have them spaced out on their own individual pads. And notice once again there, we've got the modular setup. Who knows, maybe it's not modular, uh, maybe they've just put it there to show people how it works. But I've got to be honest, by the looks of it, it does look like you can swap things out, which is pretty good. 
And here's the final photo they provide, taking a look at a honeycomb chair. Now who knows, will they sell this? I don't know. But by the looks of it, I, I wouldn't be surprised. If they managed to fit it all together, then it would certainly be a good investment. Tidy up your Microsoft Flight Simulator or X-Plane 11 or Xbox setup. Certainly a good return of investment and it looks quite comfortable too. Finally, we get a 28 second video, so let's watch that through. So I think this video provides a good sense of scale, you can see it's not too big but it's not too small, pretty realistic scale I'd say with the exception of it being just a bit smaller than real life for obvious reasons. Now notice at the start of the video we get a bit of a clearer picture regarding the modular setup of it, you can see in the back there that stick setup does, does have ports basically for you to put your desired setup in. Who knows, it might be there, it might not. I think by the looks of it, it will be, and that will certainly be a good selling point. But you never know, it might just be a show tester. So maybe their potential design options. I don't know, I haven't spoken to Honeycomb. I'm just going over what I see. Leave your thoughts down below, of course. Overall, I'm very impressed. This seems like an awesome bit of kit, and hopefully, for what you get, it will be pretty affordable, from around the £300 mark, I reckon, similar to their Alpha Flight Yoke. Just a bit more because you're getting a bigger setup, I reckon. It seems really good, it looks like it's made out of good quality materials, I'd expect nothing less, and the modular setup could be a very good selling point. I'm definitely keeping my eyes closed on this one, it looks awesome. Good job, Honeycomb. I do believe we're getting the flight chair, after all, on the FS Elite website, they describe it as the Lima flight chair, and I think they've also put it in a roadmap before, so who knows, the chair might be coming out by the looks of it, it would be an awesome setup, and I'd definitely buy it. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, taking a bit of a closer look at the Honeycomb Tango Foxtrot setup. Hotel setup. Please do note it's a prototype build so things might change and shout out to the FS Elite team for providing all of the photos and videos. I'll be heading over to FS Expo 2022 next year if all the odds fall into my favour. But anyway from me today that is all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you to my first class channel members Simon Schmidt, Ethan Bubeck, Jesse Wiseman, Erwin Kay and Captain Matt Russell. You guys really do help me out and if you want to support my channel in return for exclusive perks consider clicking that blue join button. Also, I'm running a charity fundraiser raising money for two awesome charities. The link is in the description. I'll be doing a skydive for it. But from me today, that is all. I'll see you around. Bye bye.